Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Daily Angel Guidance Message. I'm Ramona Remesat. I am an intuitive success coach, angel therapy practitioner, speaker, and co-author of the Amazon bestsellers, 365 Days of Angel Prayers, and 365 Ways to Connect with Your Soul. And it's Friday, and <laughs> all this week, I've been a day ahead, so all day yesterday I thought was Friday. So good thing I realized it wasn't so that I came back today to give you guys another message. So today I thought we would finish off the week with the Archangels, some love from the Archangels. Now, sometimes people uh, know about a couple of the Archangels, but there's actually quite a few. And the neat thing with them are that in addition to your personal guardian angels, you can also always call on the archangels for assistance with whatever it is you have going on in your life and they all have a specialty so a lot of people know about Archangel Michael because he's uh, talked about a lot and and he's portrayed in a lot of artwork and he is the angel that gives us protection and so he is the the angel and the patron saint of uh, police officers and firefighters and uh, I work with Michael all the time, and I encourage you to as well. And he also gives us courage and confidence and takes away fear. So fear is a big thing that holds us back a lot from doing the things that we're meant to do. So you can always, always, always call on Archangel Michael. So if you're tuning in, let me know who's out there. If you wanna say your name or where you're from, that would be great. So like I said, today we're working with the Archangels. Never hesitate to call on them. They can be with everybody simultaneously and you never have to worry that you're pulling them away from something that's more important because people sometimes wonder about that, right? So today's card is clairsentience. Now this might be a new term for you. Yes, it's funny because yesterday's card was talking about your clairvoyance and opening up your clear seeing. Clairsentience means clear feeling. So the angels are basically saying here that they are trying to communicate with you and one of the ways that they do that is through the things you're feeling and that's through the, your physical feelings and your emotional feelings. So if you keep having a gut feeling about the same thing over and over again, or you're just feeling a certain way and you kind of don't understand, maybe it doesn't really you know, make sense. Like why, I thought I was in a good mood, but why am I suddenly very emotional? Or why am I suddenly very agitated? Or what is going on here? That is all ways that they uh, communicate with you. So the card actually says, notice your reoccurring feelings, uh, sorry, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance, just what I just said. And the key there in that phrase is recurring. Remember, when the angels want you to know something, they're gonna give it to you over and over and over and over and over and over again until we finally clue in, right? So, like I said, pay attention to what's happening, what you're feeling over and over. And now, when you begin to work with the angels, you know, it's not always obvious that it's guidance because it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be rapid fire that these things, you know, that you're feeling a certain way right now and then it's there again at one o'clock and then it's there again at four and then it's there again at seven. You know, it's not always like that, right? So you might get a really strong gut feeling around something and then a few days pass and then it comes again and maybe a week passes and then it comes again. So one of the things I recommend is if you really truly want to start having a close connected relationship with your angels and really get them helping you in your life is to get a notebook or a journal or something where you can write things down. So if you're feeling, hi Annie, hello, welcome, nice to have you here. Let me know where you're from. Um, you know, if, if you have this notebook, you can write things down like, hmm, I had a very interesting thought today. I'm going to write that down. It might be nothing, but you know what? I'm just going to write it down. Or you might say, oh, I had a really strong gut feeling about this. Write it down. You know, you might have a knowingness around something. You don't know why you know it. You just kind of have a knowingness. So write that down. You might be seeing and hearing the same things, you know, kind of over and over. Write it down. If it's catching your attention, write it down and keep referring back to that notebook and see if there is repetition. And if it is, then you, you know, that's your clue. You're like, okay, I know this is coming from the angels and I need to follow uh, up with this by taking some kind of action. Okay, so, um, so I do recommend having a notebook, like I said, a journal, something that you can use to write these things down. But it sounds like from the week's messages that the angels are really wanting to talk with you 
and they're saying they're going to be talking to you through the things that you're seeing. That was yesterday's message about clairvoyance and today's message, how you're feeling. Okay, so that, that's your homework today is pay attention to what feelings are coming through for you. And, um, you know, like I said, take an action step based on that because they do guide you by that. Um, does anybody have any questions? Is that making sense? Um, and it takes practice, right? If you haven't really done this before, it takes practice. That's why I said I like the notebook idea, um, just to get you in the, in the habit of starting to recognize if something is repeating so that you know that it's guidance and you can take appropriate action. All right, so hope that makes sense. And I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. I woke up to another sprinkling of snow again. I thought we were done with that, but apparently not. <laughs> So uh, my husband is off work today and he and I are off to get massages. So maybe that'll kind of compensate for having to look outside the window and see snow in the end of April. Uh, so have a fabulous weekend. I will be back on Monday with another Daily Angel Guidance message. In the meantime, I urge you to uh, check out the live stream I did on Tuesday, my Takeaway Tip Tuesday live stream. I do it every Tuesday. I'm here at 11.30 mountain time which is 1 30 eastern time or 10 30 pacific and i share tips techniques and information to help make your life easier by working with the angels and the archangels so to this week's message is also very on topic for what we've been talking about all week about how your angels are communicating with you but how you may be inadvertently blocking that based on what you are ingesting there are certain foods and beverages that we consume, and most people have these every single day, and it's basically causing you to have difficulty clearly hearing your angel's guidance. So if you want to kind of really ramp up your ability to tune into them, then you'll want to go back and watch that video. And there are four specific things that I talk about, four specific foods and beverages that we are consuming, like I said, pretty much on a daily basis that are probably interfering in your ability to tune in and really get that guidance super crystal clear. All right, so you can go back and watch that. And uh, like I said, I'll be back on Monday. So thanks again for tuning in. Have a fabulous day.